When you know my first husband uh, couldn't eat, he had uh, uh, oral cancer, and I did feel it was quite important to to hold on to being able to cook for myself. I mean, obviously my children were little then, so I did you know two lots of supper. I would eat theirs, and then I would make something for myself. But but I think I, that's when I started, and I and I felt it was important. I, and I still do. I think that you have to feel you can take care of yourself. And you know, there are times when you know one one feels un, unable to muster the enthusiasm to do so. But as much as possible, I think it, it, it's a help and you know an essential act of kindness towards oneself. When you're eating by yourself, do you read while you eat? Do you eat in front of the TV? I know you like no. you're a fellow loving eating in bed. I like I eating. Eat. No, I like I like to concentrate on the food. Yeah. I can, you know, sometimes I'll read a bit and then I'll, you know, eat and put my book down. But generally speaking, I feel that if I do anything else when I eat, that I'm not really um, savouring every moment of the food. When you eat in bed, do you not have the TV on? Or you're not reading your book at the same time? I do, but sometimes I pause it. Sometimes. To just really... Yes. But those things make a big difference. And actually, I do think, again, that, that that's linked to about how one eats, because I think really acknowledging your eating, enjoying the fact that you're eating, and then I have a brief moment of desolation when it's finished. But then I know I'm going to be eating the next day, so that's all right.